How Garage Door Springs Work Did you know that an average garage door weighs almost 150 pounds? But how can one lift or lower this heavy door so easily? It is all because of the simplest component namely garage door springs. These springs do the actual lifting and lowering of the door. What is the role of garage door springs? Of all the components, garage door springs are the most important. They carry the total weight of the garage door. If these springs were absent, the heavy lifting of the garage door would never be possible. The tension in the springs is stored as mechanical energy. A garage door can have one or more springs. The heavier the door, the more springs and replacement springs are needed. But this number also depends on the type of springs used. What are the two types of springs used for garage doors? There are two types of garage springs, torsion springs and extension springs. Garage door torsion springs are fitted on top of the door on a horizontal torsion bar. They are responsible for holding the weight and maintaining the balance of the door. Garage door extension springs are attached to the track cable on the sides of the door through the cables. Do garage door torsion springs and extension springs differ? First of all, the position or placement of these springs differ. Torsion springs are placed horizontally above the garage door. They are wound over center bearing plates and connect to safety cables passing over cable drums at both ends. Secondly, the mode of operation of these springs varies. The torsion springs wind and unwinds to lift or lower the door. The extension springs extend and contract to do the same. The third is the life expectancy of the spring. Torsion springs are robust and last longer than extension springs. The ends of the extension springs are fragile and break easily. Extension springs are costlier than torsion springs. They need frequent garage door spring replacement too. Lastly, the number of springs needed depends on what type of spring you use. If you use the extension spring system, you must always have a pair of springs to balance the weight of the door. But since the torsion spring is fixed up along the horizontal track, even one will do for a light door. For heavier doors, you might need even three to four standard torsion springs. To avoid stress on the garage door opener, professional technicians always suggest the use of torsion springs. Basics of Garage Spring Replacement A broken spring is fatal to your door in life. Since the torsion spring holds the weight of the door, the door can crash if it breaks. The average life of common torsion springs is 5 years. But the consistent lifting of the door causes its wear and tear and reduces its tension rating. So, if you have a weakened spring, you need to put in extra effort to lift the door. Avoid all this and call the garage door repair company at once. Torsion spring replacement is not an easy task that you can do on your own. It is better to leave this to experienced garage door repair technicians to do the spring repair service. How to know if the door has a broken spring? If the door is noisy or tilts to one side, then it is time for garage door spring replacement. Also, check if the horizontal track is misaligned or the safety cables are hanging. Be it commercial offices or residential garages, Use correct springs like oil-tempered springs or galvanized springs. Maintain them in good condition by doing periodic garage door spring repair. Spark Garage Doors Denver knows how important spring garage door maintenance is to ensure the longevity of the garage door. Contact us today to check our spring maintenance plans for your garage door. Thanks for watching.